Hello everybody and welcome back to Swords and Magic and Stuff. Now obviously because I have closed the game down since I last recorded, we are not in the farmlands, the beautiful farmlands across the way. We are still in, uh, what's this place called again? Hope Harbour, that's the one. We're still in Hope Harbour at the moment. So, uh, looks like the fairy is across the way at the moment. It's not here right now. I wonder if I can chat to the guy. It looks like it's on the move. Jib, Shelab, how are you? I'm so happy the fairy's up and running again, full steam ahead. Where is it? It's on a loop from here to the mainland. You'll know when it's here by the distinctive ring of the fairy bell. I love hearing that sound again. So yeah, it's looping round. So you can kind of see where it is. You can see it's coming back at the moment. And there's a couple of things you guys have been saying to me um, that I've apparently missed. Apparently under, if I crouch down under the inn. Oh, there's a dude here. Oh, right, okay. I'll use my little crouch ability. Probably not even needing to crouch, actually. There is a... a oh, Puck, a suspicious lady. Okay. So... You apparently stole an amulet, I think. I have a letter about you. Look, I don't know who you are, but I'm busy right now. What are you doing under here? What? Why all the questions? I don't think it's any of your business, really. But if you must know, I'm waiting for someone, I think. You think? Look, you're pretty interested in what I'm doing, so either you're a guard or just really nosy. Which is it? I'm just nosy. Well, you could work on your subtlety, but nosy people do make pretty good thieves. Are you willing to make some... Look, sorry, looking to make some coin? Okay, that's what I like to hear. A while back, I had a very important amulet taken from my family. It belonged to my father. I've been tracking it down ever since, and I'm getting close. What do you need from me? The town guard around here knows me. There's another nosy fellow at the tavern who loves to get in my business. An acquaintance in town told me that the amulet was sold to someone in Ramshackle Reef here on Azura. Okay. That friend couldn't tell me more, but I know his boat is docked here. If I could find some evidence of who bought the amulet. You want me to search around? Exactly. One of these ships here has to have some sort of information about where the amulet went. Now, I found that already. I found that ahead of time. Now, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but people in Tyrwyn just love writing all their secrets down in diaries. I wish I knew what was up with that. Okay, I'm on it. Great. Just head back here with any information you find. I'll be waiting. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, chat again. I found a letter. Let me see this. Dreg. Huh, I don't know a Dreg. I wonder what he would want with my family's old dusty heirloom. But now I'm one step closer to finally getting it back. I know just how to repay you. If you're doing this kind of work, you need to watch your back. Take this and a few coins to get you on your way. Okay, so, so what did I get there? A dagger or something, maybe? Ooh, standard Puck's dagger. Okay, so I could definitely, at this point, do a double dagger setup and start um, leveling up my dagger skill, I reckon. Do it. Let's have no. Let's have that on the standard hand, and let's have Puck Stagger on the off hand. Uh, so we've got one to one damage and one to. One. So I'll need to like maybe beat up a few crabs with this, but I definitely feel that it's useful to, um, you know, to to do a bit of leveling on as many different types of weapons as I can. Now you guys are also saying there was somebody on a roof. So I'm going to be looking at all the roofs today. <laughs> you were telling me to look up, and I was like, okay. Look up, and there's somebody on a roof, okay. Which roof? I'll look around on all the roofs, I guess. Ah! Yes, well now you say that, he's very, very obvious, isn't he? He's on the, on the roof of the tavern. Alright, so let's see if we can get up onto the roof. Cause I was up here doing some stuff. And see if you've got anything to say about um, about a certain cap. And this is practically my tavern. I bet I single-handedly keep the lamps burning. It's my favourite place in all of Tyrwyn. Next to my ship, that is. I gotta go. Okay, well... Yeah, he's got nothing to say about the cap still. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> what other quests do we have right now? The Eggless Griffin, the Stolen Cap, Oliver's Apples. I'm assuming, so these are all across the way. Oh, we need some lemonade um, for the guy across the way. So it's kind of good that we're back here because this is where you can get some lemonade. 
So I'll get some lemonade. I might even have it in my bank. Get some lemonade into my inventory. I might have even had lemonade in my inventory actually at the time. Oh no, I don't think I did. Ooh, resilience and focus potions. Very nice, thank you. That was from that lady under the docks. Okay. So, uh, hmm. Still no further on with all of that. Rat tail stuff. This is a rat tail ship, right? A copper chest over there. I think I might have a copper key right now. I did. Seriously, did it just have a bone in it? Because... I think I'm gonna cry. Did it really just have a bone? And now I'm stuck in the water. Yay! Uh, I'm gonna have to go back to the shore, I think. Okay. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, so let's go and have another look at the boat. It's something to do with these rat tails. And you say that there's always two things. Well, that I'm sure that only had one there. And, and, and when you, when I'm saying you, I'm talking about people in the comments. So that had two things: a jar of water and some money. But I'm sure that sometimes they only have one. So that one has some thread and some celery. So that, yeah, that one did have two as well. But that first one that I got definitely had one. Just have money. And that one... Oh no, there was another thing. A potato. Okay. Some corn. Right, Jenk. Wants me to leave. Okay. So it's still no further with the, the, the cap stuff. Coin, cubic sauce. I love that the chest respawn, it's very nice. See, I still don't know who Gil is. Talked to Roxy. <sighs> I'm just struggling with this quest. Really struggling. And then and I thought that I was going to get the answer because you guys were telling me to see the captain. And I'm like, mm, no. But maybe that's further along in the quest. Maybe I need to find someone else first. Maybe Gil. Maybe Gil is in... Um, thingy. I'll have another chat to Roxy quickly, but maybe Gil is up in um, Ramshackle Reef. That's the one. Okay. How's the ferry doing right now? I don't actually know if I want to go on the ferry right now, though. I also kind of think I might end up just... Um, do you know what I think I'm going to do right now? I've changed my mind, because I always change my mind, because that's what I do. There's two little dudes behind there. I don't think either one of them is Gil, though. The chest as well, but I can come back for that later. I want to go and check out the, the goblins again. For this griffin egg quest. I feel like that's kind of important. So what I want to do firstly is I didn't really get enough of a chance to go through the goblin's cave before everything went a bit crazy. Oh yeah, and you guys are saying apparently... Not this guy, apparently this guy up here has another quest for me. Well, I haven't picked up, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get through all your comments. And do all the things pertaining to those comments, so you had another one. Okay, thanks again for helping me. Once my leg heals up, I'm headed right back for the mainland and my family. Say, you're not looking to make a career out of hunting, are you? 
Maybe, why? The best hunters have animal companions, you know, a trusty dog or a bear by their side. But you don't have one. Um, how do I get one? Well, since you ask, I happened to have found a young boar the other day. Poor thing was lost and alone. Definitely the run to the litter. I wasn't sure what to do. But then you showed up in need of some help, so how about a trade? I'm listening. I know you already helped me gather those pelts, but I could buy my wife a really fancy hat if I had some thick hide to sell as well. She'd love that. Bring me ten thick hide and I'll train this boar. You can take it off my hands. Deal. Great. Be careful now. The boars over here aren't big enough for the hide I need. You ought to find the big ones on the other side of the island. But they're real mean. Much harder to hunt. Good thing you've got that nice bow I gave you. Okay. Did you give me a nice bow? I thought you just... I just had the same standard bow. Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to stand on a rock and level up my bow and, and hunt the boar, I think. But first I'm going to use my big fat sword. I'm going to use this sword because there's no way I'm going in here with daggers. Like that right now. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing very well today, am I? Probably should take a little bit of uh, coconut, coconut first. Food is important in this game. Super important. I, I I don't think I'm even utilizing it as much as I should be yet. Hey, you. Out my way. Sword skill 11. So my sword skill is just as good now as my um, staff skill. Although you guys are saying apparently the magic's not very well implemented yet. And I probably won't be able to get a staff as yet. Get that. Ah, no, 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 no. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ow, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's so annoying. Where am I going to end up coming back to then? <sighs> they all just jumped me at once. I'm not not strong enough for that yet. <laughs> I tried to see if uh, like Krusty would take some of the heat off of me, but no. So we're already dead. And we're only like two minutes in. <laughs> no, 12 minutes in. <sighs> I'm going to hang up on this rock over here. I don't know why it's here. I, I don't like the fact that it just takes so long to, to respawn you either. It's just, just super annoying, honestly. But I, as I say, I think that's more a multiplayer thing. Um, you guys are also telling me I need to level up my tailoring skills and, and all that sort of thing. Um, but again, I think, oh no, giant rats. Oh gosh. No, that's not what I want. Sword out. Giant rat dead. The goblins are like some of the hardest things on this island. So I think I, I need to not just rush straight in there. I probably could do it like eating more different foods. For example, let's take a crab claw and a coconut. That should help. It actually gives me a bit of extra um, health as well. So that's apparently under construction. I can't wait for these under construction things to be built. Like, I think I will get probably get to a point with this where um, I've gone straight past their cave as well. But there's a chest here, so that's fine. I will get to a point with this where I kind of feel I've done everything, I imagine. Um, I'll try my best to do as much as I can. And then I think it will probably have to come back. I'll probably wait quite a, quite a good gap. Wait for lots, like I did with Porsche. Well, the Porsche have now said that they're putting another update out. And I'm like, I just finished. I just finished what I thought was all the updates. And now you're telling me that there's going to be more updates. So now I've got to, now I've got to like, bring back a series that I neatly finished off. Lovely. Well, that was nice. Critical hit. Move to sword. Boom, and finish him off. And right, run away. Should be able to get these two. Sword skill level 12. Perfect. Stinky leaf. I don't know why they keep dropping these stinky leaves and expecting me to, to be happy with that. So I'm trying to work out if maybe the griffin egg is like up here in this hay or something or, or what. Lots of stuff to pick up though, which is cool, regardless. 
But um, I, I'm not. Th I'm thinking this is maybe not the fortress. Uh, they maybe have a different goblin fortress somewhere else on the island. So I'm just gonna you know, look around here, pick things up as much as I can, and then hope that I'm not like totally missing things. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that I would count this as a. Um, as a fortress, particularly, so there may well be something else. This is just a cave. Okay. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't see griffin eggs anywhere, so I'm gonna get out of here. I know there's some bits and bobs I could mine if I wanted to, but I don't fancy doing that right now, but I can always come back here and uh, clear out the goblins and mine if I want to, so... Okay, so where else on this map might might there be goblins? Might there be a goblin fortress? And I definitely think that getting the boar companion, um, I'm imagining that a boar would be stronger than a crab, so... Oh my goodness, how over encumbered am I? Very. Extremely. I'm gonna have to go sell before I go anywhere else. I'm like... Can you feel, I don't know if you can feel it, but you can actually feel how slow I am. The chest up there. There's a copper one, so. There's way too many copper chests compared to copper keys, I think, in this game. And then when you open a copper chest and you find like it's got a bone inside, it's very frustrating and annoying. <laughs> hey, lemonade dude. I buy a lemonade off you and I need it. I can't afford it. If I get any more encumbered, I'm gonna just like keel over and like I think the horse is just gonna be like splattered on the ground, basically. So, okay, let's uh, get off my horse and say hello to. Are you kidding me? No, I did. have to sell that extra pick. Oh, and now, and now the berry's here. No. See, these are all quite useful. A green skull car karma dagger. Ooh, okay. Well, that's really good. Probably don't need the flimsy stone axe. I've got a lot of weapons, though, that I don't really need. Um, just trying to work on what I do what I need what I don't need dizzy juice it's all useful stuff you see except for maybe some gems and the stinky leaves the stinky leaves are probably needed for something I just don't know what yet uh, and the forks and the bones okay so what I am going to do Let's go to my bank and put most of the stuff in there, and I've got lots of money, so, um, you know. Although I can use some of my money for a nice hook or, like, a nice hook or a ni something else nice, I don't know. Standard Iron Dagger. I'm keeping that for now. I mean, I could sell the Green Skull Cleaver, but I feel like I should keep it. I feel like I should keep everything. Flimsy wooden sword. Probably should have sold that, really. Oh, my metal and stuff. We're 49 out of 51. Let's just buy a couple of slots. Um, Jed's doll. I still don't know who Jed is. I think Jed might be up in... Uh, Possibly Ramshackle Reef as well, so I might need to go look up there for a bit. Um, what else do I want to put away? I should eat some of my stuff. That needs to go away. My copper, gold, coal, augment stones. Oh yay, it's only just full now. 
a watering can because wherever I go, hopefully there will be a bank there. <laughs> Maybe I will pop a couple of bits of food away. This is awful. This is so awful. Seeds, more seeds. Just don't pick anything else up, she love. Horse thread, jar of water. I need to find a fire and go make some crab claws. How many times have I ridden past him on the roof, honestly? Uh... Yeah, I'll ride up to the, um, the guard camp. Because they always have a nice fire going up there, and I'll go up there and I'll make some crab claw thingies. And then we're gonna go looking for, uh, some more, um some more goblin places and see what we can find because I don't know what I'm doing with that because I certainly haven't found a, a griffin egg in the one place I did find goblins so mm, don't know probably shouldn't have done it this way I should have just gone one two three down there <laughs> but I guess it works um, okay, so, if I were a goblin and I were making a goblin camp, what, what would I, where would I make my goblin camp? I, mean, I certainly haven't looked at the bit that says rat's nest this way. So maybe we should go down there and check out this rat den. Probably should do it on foot though. Get my sword out. A rat could get me at any moment. It's just a normal rat then. Okay, well it looks like there's some steps up from the rat then. Are you coming to fight me or what? Okay. Yeah, they're, they're like little ratty forks or whatever. I probably haven't picked up everything, but I don't really care. Okay, so there is now a rat cave. There's giant rats in it. But luckily, giant rats aren't too hard. And it splits off in two directions. Interesting. Bones and forks. Let's go left first. There's loads of like breakable rocks and things in here to get. Cool. I was hoping that this might have turned into like um, a bit of a, a, a goblin hideout, but it doesn't seem like it. Shield and some rubies and money and stuff. Cool. Let's try the other way. The other way lies a chest with an augment stain in it. Okay. Well, I was a, a bit cool, but like, could have been cooler. But at least I have uh, sort of narrowed down the fact that there's like uh, no goblins in there. Okay, cool. So I know what's down here, like the lava caves and everything like that. That's good to know. We've done everything up there that we that I think I need to do. I will. I can come up here and uh, fight some boar. <laughs> oh, they're all following the rat. They're all like, okay. I'm just gonna get out of here. I think. Because, um, ah, 
What I probably really want to find is the, the King Boar and his friends. How have I gone the wrong way so badly here? Ah! Who are you? And how did I find you? And how did I not find you before? I get so lost in this game. It's not even funny. Alright, um, Greta the tre treasure hunter. Oh, hello there. I hope you're not here looking for treasure as well. Seems I got to it first. The name's Greta, treasure hunter. <laughs> okay. There's things to dig up, though. Which is always cool. Well, in fact, it's not so cool if you've got, like, a really stuffed inventory. But no, doesn't look like, uh, that's a place to be, so, okay. Literally, like, rubies on the ground. I'm guessing that maybe people are saying level up your tailoring because tailoring is going to be how I how I get a new backpack. I'm just guessing here, but okay. You have been annoying me for far too long. And serve you. I will take your thick hide. And I will eat a coconut. Okay, so we really still haven't made much progress. I wouldn't have said trying to find any anything to do with... So that's where the person that asked me to do the griffin stuff is, I think. No, there is. So there is an area down there. I think that's where the goblin cave is. This up here is all like the waterfall area. And the beach around the waterfall area. Unfortunately, it really doesn't give me a quest area um, for the Eggless Griffin. The goblins are likely keeping it in the goblin fort. But I've only found one place that's likely to be the goblin fort, and that's their, their little cave that they've got. So maybe I need to visit it again and look even more thoroughly to see if I can find this griffin egg. Or maybe there is a different goblin fort somewhere. So we're heading up to the sort of um, waterfall area now. These rats are super annoying. They're really annoying. So could there be another goblin fort here? Or could there even be... I mean, is it definitely on this island? Could there be a goblin fort on the other side of the ferry? That's the other thing. I just don't know. But certainly the only place that I saw any goblins so far, and it could be that the goblin fort isn't in, but they shouldn't give you quests for a place that doesn't exist yet. That's just dumb. So I think I just haven't explored their cave properly. But I don't really don't know. I don't understand why there isn't a, a quest area on the map for it, because that would be so useful. <laughs> so there's... So what have we got there? We've got the crab and the crab cave, so we've been down there. There's the boar over here, the boar king and everything. Is there something at the top of there? Okay, I'm gonna take a look in their cave one more time. Ouch. It's 
that goes up to the rat nest. And this goes down to the goblin area. And this is the only place that I that any, any goblins have been out to get me. Um so I'm a little bit confused. Are they in today? I feel like it should be here. I feel like that should be where the griffin egg is. But it isn't. So I feel like I'm spending a lot of time right now chasing around after quests that I might not even be able to do. Um, so if I can't find the griffin egg in here, then I think it's going to be time to move on. I just wanted to have one more little look around. You would think it would be in a more sort of prominent place. That's a skull. That's definitely not an egg. Could grab some bits and pieces, so some some of the rocks, I guess. Doesn't ever hurt to have uh, a bit of smithing skill. So, and this time I can actually use all of my bars and things that I get to do some smithing rather than. And then I can maybe talk to the guy in Ramshackle Reef about uh, about upgrading my smithing. But no, this is... Definitely not. Okay, but there is like a... a way up here? Possibly? No. There's a way up there though, but that goes into the giant rat then, so I don't think that there's a particular goblin thing there, so I'm really confused. So unless there's a goblin fortress that's not on the island, I'm extra confused. And I think the fact that I, it's been so long now since I took the quest from the guy doesn't help either. It would be lovely if you could go back to them and get a bit of a, a bit more of a hint. Um, not just, hey, there might be a goblin fortress, and, uh, but I'm not going to tell you where it is. But I mean, that, that would be another reason why there wouldn't... If, for example, the goblin fortress is across in the farmlands, that would be a reason why it wouldn't be showing up on this island, right? I just thought about that. So let's, um, just, just while we're mucking around on the island still, before we try and really properly go across to the mainland, which I, I do want to do, but I want to try and get a few things sorted up here first. So um, there is a, a boar down in this direction. So I need a, a good place to shoot these boar from. But I think I'm going to try and level up my bow a little bit. Get my bow. I need a good, like, rock or something to climb onto. If I'm going to do this with a bow. Mm, okay. Can't get up there. Or there. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Um. This was not on the, on the cards. Ah! Right, I'm gonna need to do this with a sword. I'm sorry. Stupid boar elite. I, I would love to... Find a nice rock to stand on to get you, but... Stop running away! Oh, now he's got all full health left. Darn it. What I need to do is try and get back up here. You can go away. 
That's one thing about the farmlands, is that you don't have things like trying to eat your face every two seconds. It's quite nice. I don't know, that might be enough. But I think a, a sensible thing to do would be to have my sword equipped as a as a backup, so let's just see. Let's see what we can do. Hmm, so can I stand on a rock and Yes I can. This will be it. Oh no, I apparently can't. He can probably he can still kill me apparently from there. This rock isn't big enough! No! Okay, sword it is. Run away! So I need um some regeneration. I need ten of these thick hides. I do already have some somewhere, I think, in my bank. I'm taking a lot of damage though. There's like still three boar there. I wonder if I can make it up onto this rock. Uh, that would be a yes. Oh, not entirely though. I think I could. Oh, oh man, really? <laughs> Give me a false sense of security. Oh no. No, I need my. Ah, not again. This is what happens when you try to cheese things, guys. When someone tells you they, they leveled up their bow by by standing on a rock, but I think they were at the other boar site, the one with the other king boar, so. Hang around here, I'll go back to their camp, I think. Their archaeology camp. Right, so... <laughs> it's now daytime. Did I lose some time there? I must have done. Time flies when you're dead. Apparently. Oh, seriously, you can go away as well. I hate those guys, they're so annoying. I'm going to avoid that. Does does the King Ball live up there? I can't remember where he lives now. No, he lives right down there, right on the coast. not there. Come on. Bratty, you're very annoying. I'm trying to get my boar hides here. Is it around here somewhere? Yuck, now I've gone too far. No. Needs to be just around here, I think. And then, okay, even further down here. And just glider down. But first, get this dude out of the way, because he's very annoying. Ah, yes, I can see. If I could glider down and get myself onto one of those rocks down there, that would be quite handy. Okay, these rats are getting old very fast. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Oh yeah, I can jump down. I heard you. Where are you? You 
really annoying. Even your sound is annoying. Okay, well, I may get myself killed doing this, but we'll see. That worked quite well. So I want to try and get to that chest over there, I think. Perfect. Okay. And we get some money into the bargain as well. So I don't think the, the boar should be able to get me from up here. So this is going to be an ideal place. Hopefully. Kill boar. Shoot them in the butt. How did you get up? Shoot boar in the butt. And get my bow skill up. Well, I'm a bit scared of them because they they do seem to be coming for me, don't they? Because I would love to have good bow skill and good everything skill. Get that king guy over here. He's got a, he's got a longer body than the other, so he's probably much like easier to goof with your bow. It scares me when they jump up here, though. Bow level three. Hopefully they're not regening because they haven't gone out of their area, so that's good. They are a bit wiggly, aren't they? Like one of my ferrets on a on a good day. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and grab the elites a little bit more. To say very wiggly. I haven't lost any health. I do seem to glitch up onto the rock a little bit, but I haven't really lost any health doing that, so I'm hopeful that that's not too much of a bad thing. Well, it's taking a lot longer than it would have taken with my sword. But that's because the bow, like, I haven't had an opportunity at all to level it up. Um, the staff is really useful because I can level the staff up while having an animal companion out. So that's really handy. Come on, bow skill level four. I just don't need to not, like, fall down here. That's all I need to not do. Just a bit of patience, so I should be fine. Come on. Walking is tanky. One of these boar elites is basically nearly dead. That one, I think. You just did 17 damage to me up here. That's not on. Oh gosh, okay, he's come to find me. Um, yeah, so that was fun. I did get a couple of... Yeah, yeah, okay, next time someone tells me they leveled up their bow skill by, by standing on a rock. Mm-hmm. Not going to believe them. <laughs> I'll, I'll go and do that with crabs or something, I think. I'm going to come back up here with my sword and slay the, slay the foul beasts. 
and we will get ourselves a boar familiar by the end of the episode. I promise. I promise we will. I definitely have some hides at home. And I've got a couple of hides here as well, so let's do this thing. A seraph's armor. Can I have like a hat? An armored hat? Because if I can, it might be useful. A white hood, 500. Ragged warrior armor. Yeah, you seem like the type who could use new look. How about a bucket for that head of yours? Oh my goodness, I can sell things to you. That's really good. Go for it. Oh, they've picked up a ton of stuff that I actually want to sell though. I am over encumbered as well. Ah, man. Maybe I should try eating like my fish and chips and stuff. I'm gonna do it. Okay. How have I got? I've got exactly a thousand. Fighters Guild Arena signups. Ah, oh, we're here at the Fighters Guild. Okay, interesting. Oh no, not the banditos. No, 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 no. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna beat these guys with a sword and get all of their tasty, tasty leather. That includes you, Boar King. sort of make the boar elite come to me if I can and get all of their tasty 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 stuff there's one more boar elite I, I want the boar elite out of the way before I start on the boar king because he does a lot of damage A bird nest up here. Ah! I'm flying away. I'm off. <laughs> I'm dealing with you, Boar King. Okay, so how many boar hides we got now? Five thick boar hides. I'm going to go back to um, Hope Harbour and see how many hides I have there. And maybe take a night at the inn because I'm really hurt and I think it'd be easier to do that. And then we're going to spend an episode I think um, across in the other lands. And I'm going to see if maybe the, the goblin fort is across there. Because what if the goblin fort was in the farmlands? I mean, he said, I think he said it was on the island, but it's been ages since I talked to him, so you never know. Okay. So yeah, we want to go to the inn, we want to go to my bank as well. Put some stuff away. Like, when was the last time I used my shield? Buy a couple more slots so that corn can go away. That hide can go away. I'll stack. Coal and copper and stone. The rubies need to get sold. The bows need to get sold. My updraft can stay. Focus increases damage. Duration, uh, sorry, resilience. Increases resilience and health is uh, for health, okay, cool. 
Okay, so also, how many thick hides have I stashed away in here, if any? If I haven't stashed any, then we've got more, a lot more to do. But I stashed two already, so we've got seven. Put my meat away. Augment stone. It's a bit better. So we've got three left to do. I'm going to just take a little night at the inn. And then we'll go and get those last three, I think. Because I'd love to do, like, I've spent a whole episode basically doing that quest and trying to work out about the goblins and not getting anywhere with it. So I'd love to l at least have something new to show you <laughs> for this, for the sake of doing this episode. So, oh, I didn't need to pay my 10 gold to the innkeeper. Oh well. And we need to find an inn on the other side as well so that we don't constantly wake up on the wrong side of things. Ah, good night, everybody. And it looks like my buffs didn't wear off either, so that's really cool. Hey, Tilly. Oh, man, maybe, that, maybe I should have ended the episode there. Now I've got a sleepy cat. Oh, no, actually, she's just flopped on the floor next to me. She's been really good. She'll wait for me to finish, I think. She's just probably a little bit hungry, wants something to eat. Yeah, I did I did find I did find Puck as well this episode, so that was quite cool. But I'm almost certain there are still more secrets on this island to find. I just um haven't had a chance to go and find them. And it might take me time and I might walk past things like a hundred times before I actually do I feel like I should maybe do a round of all the beaches, for example. Okay, so let's see. Let's find some more elite boar. I don't think I'm going to be taking on the boar king until I'm a little bit stronger, so... Or I can find a place where he's not going to get me back. You know, maybe I need to level up my bow a bit more before I go on taking him on, you know. So where were these? Ah, here they are. So these guys, I think I can just take them on with my sword. They'll be a lot faster. What, what? You didn't give me a thick hide? How dare you? I need three. Okay, so hopefully that'll be at least two. Yeah. There's two. So if we go down to... I think, guess we'll have to go down to where the Boar King is. I'm guessing. Oh, Tilly skulks away now. She's like, oh, you're not even paying me attention. How dare you? Maybe we could go for this rock. No, no, okay, fine. See if I can. Please don't tell me the only ball that's left is the ball king, because I will cry. I don't think you can get up here. This is where he gets up here, like, really easily. Ah, yep. Typical ball king. Beating me up. Bandage. 
I've done him a bit of damage. They do me quite a bit of damage. stay well out of his way when he's doing his like crazy stuff like this and let my stats all uh, do their thing look Tilly I'm I'm killing the boar king here once I've done that we'll end the episode and we can get you stuff okay if you if you make him kill me I will not be happy where'd he go he's still down there we're still in his area I guess Much better when he was over the other side. Oh, now he's gone down into the camp. Oh, he's prob I've probably lost all the damage I've done to him now. Darn it. Ow! I promise you. You'll have, like, no damage on him now, watch. Because every time they go away from you, they like, lose all their damage. Oh no, he didn't lose his damage. Okay. We can maybe try and carry on for a bit then. Oh, ow. No, I want to get right back here then. Come on. If I don't get at least three pieces of thick hide from you, I'm going to be really upset. Mind you, I'm pretty pleased with the bow skill I've gotten so far. So wait for him. To decide he doesn't want to be there. On back to your house. I mean, actually, probably right now I could just go. Yeah, three meat. Three thick hide. Beautiful. And uh, muchos, muchos uh, bow skill. Can you tell me how much of a bow skill I have now. I'm sure there's somewhere where I can see my skills. So bow, I am five, nearly six, but blacksmithing and cooking and carpentry and all that, I've got like so, so little skill and I really need to, I need axe skill as well. So sword, I'm really good at, bow, I'm all right at, arcane, I'm very good at, but uh, axe, I'm awful at, blacksmithing, I'm bad at, carpentry and cooking, I'm really bad at, so all the three crafting skills. So you've got four uh, weapon skills and three the other skills. So let's head back. Now I've killed the boar king, I'm happy. And now hopefully when I use my bow on things, it'll be, even if I'm just using it to just draw things to me, it'll do a little bit more damage than it did. What's that on the beach there? There's the goblin fortress. Oh my goodness, it was right there on the beach. I said that I needed to go around the beach. Right, next episode, we're taking on the goblin fortress. However, um, having done all of the sort of upgrading of skills that I've done with my bow and things like that, I think it will probably help me quite considerably. Oh, I can't believe I found it. Like, you always find things when you're not looking for them, don't you? So before we finish, Let's just go and hand in the boar hides. I mean, killing all those boars was not an easy feat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit. Oh, hang on, he's round here. Completely gone off the track. 
but yeah, let's um, hand it in. It's up here, isn't it? Hand it in and see about our new boar companion. Really? You're very annoying, all of you. I hate you, rats are so annoying. At least in the farmlands there aren't, don't seem to be so many rats. I mean, you, you, you do get like um, farmers and you go through their fields and they come and like chase you, but you know, other than that, we're all good. Okay, here's the hide. Oh my, you're quite a skilled hunter. I gotta be honest, I thought you'd give up. Well, here your little boar here's all trained up for you. Here's the whistle to give it commands. Do you need a lesson in how to uh, control it? I'm actually good on that because I know how to control Krusty. So do I get like a different whistle? I get a boar whistle, so... Yeah, we've got Truffles the Elite Boar. I need like a picture of me and Truffles. That's never going to happen, is it? Hang on. We've got the come here command. use the go here command so maybe I could um, go here right here go there mm, we can all sort of like stand together no that's just not gonna work I'm not gonna get an ibis and she lab and truffles uh, picture I don't think so maybe maybe you could get him to come here maybe we could do this that looks like a good uh, Truffles, Shelab, and Camp picture. Ibis is kind of in the background there. I think that's what I'm probably going to use for my thumbnail there. But anyway, <laughs> that's it for today. Next episode, we are we are on with this goblin camp, okay? The goblin camp is, is going down. I'm getting that griffin egg. Now I know where it is. Now I spotted it. I was like, oh, there's like a little sort of fortressy looking sort of tower there. And I haven't even really looked at that before. And I was like, oh, goblin fortress. So yeah, we're going to go get that next time. And then I'm going to um, go across to the other, other side. I've got a feeling, you know, that golem that was in front of the, the, the cave or whatever it was. I have a feeling that might be linked up to the um, golem quest in the lava caves. I also do want to nip back to the lava caves really quickly and just check and see if there's been any um, progress on the forge and just make sure that there's no no further progress on that quest line. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you would like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.